hello students in this lecture we'll see the problem on curve fitting using the curve y is equal to a into x raised to b the problem is fit a curve of the form y is equal to a into x raised to b for the data so x value they have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 y value they have given 2.98 4.26 5.21 6.1, 6.8 and 7.5. Solution. The given curve is what here? Y is equal to A into X raised to B. I will give equation number 1 for this. So which implies it with nothing but capital Y is equal to capital A plus capital B into capital X I will do equation number 2 where where capital Y is a nothing but log of small y capital X is nothing but log of small x capital A is nothing but log of small a and capital B is a nothing but small b so now we we'll prepare a normal equation normal equation to equation 2 so it will become out here we have to prepare a normal equation to this apply summation on both sides for the equation number 2 it becomes summation of capital Y is equal to n into capital A plus B into summation of capital X then apply capital X on both sides so summation of capital X into capital Y is equal to A into summation of capital X plus B into summation of capital X square. So give equation number 3 for this. Now based on this equation number 3 we need to go for the table. The table is so here the as usual small x column small y column then capital X which is nothing but log of small x capital Y which is log of small y capital X y then capital X square so the given data for small x is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 small y values are 2.98 4.26 5.21 6.1 and 7.5 then we need to calculate for capital X so using lan of X from the calculator so capital uh, lan of 1 will be if you calculate it will become 1.0919 next value will be lan of 2 will be sorry uh, it is 0 0.6931 okay 6931 then again lan of 2 will be 1.0986 lan of 3 will be 1 here we will see so lan of 1 will be 0 lan of 2 will be 0 0.6931 then lan of 3 will be 1.0986 lan of 4 will be 1.3863 next is 1.6094 and lastly lan of 6 will be 1.7918 so we need to calculate the summation of capital X which will be 6.5792 similarly we need to work out for capital Y using lan of Y so lan of, lan of 2.98 will be 1.0919 
ln of 4.26 will be 1.4493 ln of 5.21 will be 1.6506 then ln of 6.1 will be 1.8083 ln of 6.8 will be 1.9169 ln of 7.5 is 2.0149 then summation of capital Y will be 9.9319 then multiply capital X into capital R we get capital XY here so 0 into 1 so 1.0919 will be 0 so 0 0.6931 into 1.4493 the value will be 1.0045 Next is 1.8133. Next is 2.5068. Next multiplication will be 3.0851. And uh, the last multiplication will be 3.6103. The summation of capital XY will be 12.02. Next we need to this uh, square all or capital X that is 0 square is 0 so next value square will be 0 0.4804 then 1.2069 then 1 1.9218 2.5902 then 3.2105 then summation of capital X square will be 9.4098 so these are the summation values so here if you count the n value 1 2 3 4 5 6 n value will be what here n value will be 6 so we'll take these summations and then we'll apply in equation number 3 we get it as so on applying in equation 3 okay in equation 3 summation of capital Y so summation of capital Y is 9.9319 is equal to n value is 6 a plus summation of X summation of summation of capital X is 6.5792 into B and second equation will be summation of xy that is summation of xy value is 12.02 is equal to a into summation x summation x is 6.5792 of a plus b into summation of x square so it is 9.4098 of b so we will take this values in the calculator and we'll get the value of capital A and capital B now we'll use the calculator so sh mode option 5 then first one so all coefficients we need to apply here I will rearrange first so so on rearrangement we'll get this equation and we'll apply the value so coefficient of A is 6 B is 6.5792 then the constant is 9.9319 then second equation coefficients are 6.5792 then 9.4098 and 9 next is 12.02 then we will get the capital A value which is another capital A value is 1.0913 I'll round up and one more time if you press equal to sign we'll get capital B value which is 0 0.5144 fine so these values we got it as a capital A and B but capital A is a nothing but what here log of small a and capital B is a nothing but small b 
so therefore so a will become e raised to capital a that is a is equal to e raised to capital a value is 1.0913 so if you apply this value in the calculator that is shift line you press you will get e raised to box that e raised to box in box you have to apply the value of 1.0913 so equal to 2. Point, if you take two, uh, 2 decimal 2.98 if you take 2 decimal place so small a will become 2.98 and b is nothing but capital b so b is equal to capital b value is 0 0.5 if you consider only to uh, 5 1 if you take 2 decimal place it is 5 1 so therefore equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes that is y is equal to a that is 2.98 into b into x raised to b value that is 0 0.51 is the required fit so in this way we need to simplify the problem